I found Tyrannosaurus Rex. The babies! Oh, poor things. They must be hungry. I wouldn't stray too far. I'm sure Mum will be back with some food soon. What was that? Huh. Probably just some Didelphodons coming back. <laughs> Okay, she's just bringing them some food, which means she's probably eaten already. Which also means she won't want to eat me. Oh, obviously hungry. Mind you, they've got a lot of growing to do. It says here that the bite of a Tyrannosaurus Rex was three times stronger than the bite of a modern lion. And it could cut through the skin of almost any animal. <sighs> Including this one. It's an Ankylosaurus. Although a plant eater, he's got such thick skin, he's not afraid of anything. And he's also got a huge bony club on the end of its tail. That could definitely injure a T-Rex. Oh! Things are really hotting up here. Be careful! Oh, well, that was completely unnecessary. Look at her. I think she's hurt. I'm going to go after her. Oh, she's resting. Great. Now I can get an imprint of her skin. Modeling clay. Brilliant. Yes, look at that, it worked. Okay. Clock. I've got just enough time to get back to the museum before it opens. Smell! It stinks! Maybe there's something in Hattie's backpack I can cover my nose with. Hmm. Oh, there's my sandwich for later on. Oh, what's this? That's what I was looking for. Brilliant! Oh, that's better. Although it is a good thing that the smell's getting stronger, it does mean that we're closer to the... To the volcano! I just need to get even closer before that T-Rex over there comes and gets me. T-Rex? The Tyrannosaurus Rex! And it says here that they were not only one of the most massive meat eaters to have ever lived, but also had a great sense of smell and fantastic eyesight. Although, she doesn't seem to be interested in me. More Hattie's backpack. What's he want with that? I can't let him take that. Uh, excuse me? Uh, excuse me, hello? Uh, can you put that down, please? Oh. oh, that was easy. Too easy. Uh, friendly dinosaur. <laughs> Lovely dinosaur with razor sharp teeth. A hungry look in his eye. Oh, maybe I'll just pretend I'm not here. Huh? No, that doesn't belong to you. That's Hattie. Come back. What do you even want it for? That's Hattie. Come back. There he is. 
He tired himself out. He's fast asleep. Wish me luck. something in here that he wants. My sandwich. My meaty sandwich. This is what he's after. Are you hungry? Oh, what's that? I hope I'm going the right way. Hmm. I think I'm close. Oh, ouch. Who put that there? Oh, what's this? Okay, I'm gonna sit on this rock until the mist clears. Ah. Oh, this rock feels like it's moving. What's that noise? Obviously hungrier than I thought. Ah, the mist has cleared. I can see things now. Like that T-Rex I was after. <gasps> T-Rex! Two of them! And they're both asleep. All I have to do is wake them up, get them to roar at me, I can record it on my gizmo, then run back to the clock. Right. How'd you wake a T-Rex up? Um... Hooey! Wakey, wakey! Come on now. Up you get. Um... Up! Get up! Wake up! Dude, this isn't working. Oh. All right. That's what we're talking about. I just need. Well, where are you going? Now, if one of you could just. Okay. I think I've got it. You can stop now. I better go! No! I think I've lost them. Oh no! How did they get there? They must have overtaken me. How am I going to get past them to the clock? The museum. It's going to open soon. Hattie's backpack. It's always full of useful things. A rescue flare? How's that gonna help me here? There's not gonna be anybody around here to rescue me for the next 65 million years. Um, unless... Yes, it's working. They're distracted by the smoke. All right, here we go. Time to head back! Whoa. 